Welcome back and this is our last lesson in this unit and so let's get going here and here's the problem. How can you find six hundredths divided by three? And here's the problem. What happens, we've been using front end estimation a lot to check our answers but we, we don't really have any digits, any whole digits in the front to check our answers. So we're going to look at that today. So just as an exploring, um, if you got a calculator and just set up some place value charts like this and I I only did the first two rows here, but um, if you use a calculator to find these quotients, even if you were just to try the calculator part and not write it down, um, you're going to see some patterns, and it'll be pretty interesting to see what is happening there. So why don't you pause that right there, and then try these ones as well. So this time they're going across 2 divided by 8, 0 0.2 divided by 8, etc. See if you see any patterns on this end. Okay, so we're going to talk about two strategies here to divide a decimal, which is less than one by a whole number. And we can use base 10 blocks, and you know I don't recommend this because it's a lot of drawing or uh, playing around, but if it helps you visually, it's good. And you can divide 0 0.8 by 2, okay? And 0 0.8, and this, listen to the language, is 8 tenths. And 8 tenths divided by 2 is 4 tenths. 8 divided by 2 is, so we keep the tenths there, it's 4 tenths, so 0 0.8 divided by 2 is 4 tenths. And you can see I have two groups of four uh, rods there that represent tenths. Now, here's some more base 10, and this time we're going to do 0 0.15 or 15 hundredths by 3, and 15 hundredths divided by 3 is 5 hundredths. 15 divided by 3 is 5, so 15 hundredths divided by 3 is 5 hundredths. You can see that in numerical form. Now the other strategy here is to use place value and again it's it's going by the language we say. So if we had to divide 74 thousandths by 8 we can estimate first. Uh, 74 thousandths is close to 72 thousandths and I know that works well with 8. So let's talk about 72 thousandths. Let's estimate first here. Well, 72 thousandths divided by 8 is 9 thousandths. 8 times 9 is 72. So 72 thousandths divided by 8 is about 9 thousandths. But this time we're going to do a little bit of division here. And so I have 74 thousandths, the original question, and we're going to divide that by 8. And so I've set it up with place value here, and you can see I got the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, all up here. Okay, that's going to help me line it up. I have uh, the the whole numbers, or sorry, the the zeros here. Okay, so there's no there's no ones, there's no tenths, but there is a hundred, seven hundredths, and there is four thousandths. So eight cannot go into zero here, and eight cannot go into zero here. Eight cannot go into seven but 8 can go into 74, and 8 can go into 74, and we're going to kind of do this long division way 9 times, and that is 72. So I'm going to subtract that. So I'm left with 2. Now, we know that 8 cannot go into 2, so we're going to bring down an imaginary 0 here, okay? And so 8 can go into 20. Uh, 8 times 3 is 24, so 8 times 2 is 16. And I'm left with 4. And again, I have that imaginary 0 here. Well, it's not imaginary. It exists. And we're going to bring it down. And so 8 can go into 40 five times exactly. And here is my answer. So, 74 thousandths divided by 9 is... Nine hundred and twenty five what do we got here? Tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, hundred thousand, nine hundred and twenty five hundred thousandths. Okay, let's have you try this one. Um, you use place value to divide eighty two ten thousandths by nine. 
Okay, so what we should be doing here is kind of estimating close to see where we're going to be. So it's close to 81 ten thousandths, and 81 will work well with the 9 there. And so 81 ten thousandths, and so 81 ten thousandths divided by 9 is 9 ten thousandths. Okay, so if you just uh, if you just hold on to these whole numbers here and then apply um, the place value after, that's going to help you out. Okay. So we know our answer is going to be close to 9 thousandths. Okay, so let's set it up here. We have 9 cannot go into 0 there or there. 9 cannot go into 8. But 9 can go into 82. And 9 can go into 82 9 times, because that's 81. I'm left with 1. Okay, well 9 cannot go into 1, so we're going to bring down a 0. Okay, so 9 can go into 10 one time. And that is 9. And I'm left with 1. Well, we got a problem here. I'm going to bring another 0. 9 can go into 10 another one time. Wait a second. You might be noticing something here that eventually this is going to be going on forever. Okay? So the answer here is so we can say 82 ten thousandths divided by 9 is. 91 hundred thousandths. There you go. Let's do one more. You try this one. 59 ten thousandths divided by 7. Okay, well, first of all, 59 is close to 56, which I know will work divide by 7. So 59 ten thousandths divided by 7 is going to be around 8 ten thousands okay so seven cannot go in there can't go in there can't go in there can't go into the five and go into the 59 eight times for 56 left with three seven cannot go into three so let's bring down a zero seven can go into 30 seven times four is 28 that'll work left with two 7 can't go into 2, so let's bring down a 0. 7 go into 22 times for 14. And left with 6. 7 cannot go into 6, so we'll go into 60. 7 times 8 is 56. Left with a 4. Kind of running out of room here. And um, so we're going into 40. Maybe I need some do some racing here. Okay. So we got a zero there, seven going to forty, seven times seven is forty-nine, it's too high, seven times six is forty-two, that's too high, so seven times five is thirty-five, and that would have been forty minus thirty-five. Kind of go to the next line here, we've got a five. Well, seven can't go into five, so can go into fifty, seven can go into fifty, seven times forty-nine, and we're left with one. Okay, well, seven can't go into one, so seven can go into there once. Seven, you can see this is going to go on for quite a while. Okay, so we can just stop there and we can say that 59 ten thousandths divided by seven is, we said it was about um, eight ten thousandths, and in fact, it is, but it keeps going a little bit. So we could say maybe stay the same number of digits, 84 hundred thousandths there. Oops, I forgot a zero. Sorry. 84 hundred, th yeah, 84 hundred thousandths. Okay, that's it, guys. And uh, take care. And remember, in math, life happens. No, that's all right. In life, math happens. All right.